Hello guys. Today you're with Force Them Outdoor Explorers. So we're gonna be mushroom hunting and fishing. And always remember to leave a leave a like and subscribe. And remember, the best social distancing is fishing. Alright guys. I'm out here at Burn County. I'm packing up and leaving my spot. Got my rides and all my tackle. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna go yet. But I do know I'm not going back to that spot because that absolutely sucked. Um so um, it's a little chilly of a day. Heavy wind, so I'm gonna have to work around that. I'm thinking best bait to use right here in the wind would probably be this spinner with a tail, but I worry about that when I get back to the water. So uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, so I changed my mind about fishing. We're going to go mushroom hunting here soon. We're going to be leaving soon. I'll show you guys that trip and, you know, I might even still get my line wet. You know I am. Always got to bring a fishing rod and tackle somehow. I'll see you guys there. This one looks like it got dropped out of somebody's bag. Look at it. I don't know if you can see it. It's dried up. This guy most definitely got dropped out of somebody's bag. Or whatever he said. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna look over here. Patience is a virtue. I don't have many patients. Guys, look at that. There's a bunch of snails on this. Look at all them. That's really cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 snails. I see 12 of them on there and 2 fell off. I flipped that piece of wood and... Oh, look at that one. That one's out. It's pretty cool. I'm going to pick them up. I'll flip that right back over for them. That was pretty cool. I flipped that. I was like, oh, there's a snap that fell off. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, there's a bunch. That's pretty cool. That's always good fish bait. Okay, look at that. That looks like mushroom heaven. That's because the wind pushes them all down. Yeah. Look at that centipede, guys. I was flipping some logs for Burke, and man. He's still alive. I just poked him with my phone. I don't think there's going to be any mushrooms under there. And if there is, I'm not going to keep risking it for how many bugs I see flew out of there. No, my luck to the snake. Alright guys, well they were mushroom hunting, I made some sort of homemade hook. I think it's called a gou gouge. You, um, you would put it, a like a worm on there. And a fish would take it, and when you go to set the hook, it'll go straight up and down in their mouth. So let's say, like, right here. It would get lodged in the throat. Let's say this is a throat, and when they eat it, it comes like this. But when you go set the hook, it would come, and uh, hopefully you get yourself some dinner with survivor skills. Um, I don't need it though, because I got a whole tackle box full of hooks. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So let me get them back out of my pocket. We found an elephant, or well, Brandon found an elephant here. And, um,. There's some more up on this branch. So another type of fungi that grows on a branch. Or a tree. I'll take all these small ones. And we'll eat them. But for the purpose of this video, I'll take one of these small ones and split it in half. Maybe.
Sam says these look like. Since if flipped inside out. Um, I don't want these small ones. I was mainly doing that for the purpose of the video. And you would fry these just how you would fry your morel mushrooms. I have a video on that on my channel. To uh, check it out. Hey guys. So if you ever walking along and you see tracks like this in the mud, I thought it'd be a cool detail to show with you guys what these actually are. Those are actually night crawlers. That is tracks on them. Like if I want to put my footprint, how you can see that barely, that's basically what that is. It's pretty cool, I thought. See, you can see my footprint. That's basically what that is. All right, guys. See if you can spot it. Right there. They're getting bigger. Which is a good sign. I'm gonna cut this baby right there. Ooh, and it's fresh. Um. I don't know what the other one is. There's another one. Oh, there it is. Can you guys find it even though he pointed a stick at it? You wanna cut it, you're closer. Here's my knife. Right, no more. Got it. Mm -hmm. That needs washed really bad. Huh? So that needs washed really bad in my knife. Mm -hmm. He still cut dirt on it. Nothing. Well, guys, after all that work, we found, um, Basically nothing. I think this one is the tallest one. I think this one is the fattest one. And I believe all these are still grays. And hopefully we can find some more. What time do you say yellow should be popping about probably the end of this week, next week? Yeah. Within the week. So yeah, oh look at the geography on this one. That one's really cool looking. This is the one that I uh that dash that got knocked over. It's really dry compared to these other ones. But yeah.